One thing I have to do while traveling and eating so much food is working out. It gives me an excuse to get up early since I want to beat the morning crowd as well. I'm also going to be rating my hotel breakfast each morning on this trip on a scale of 1 through 10. Even though I don't typically eat breakfast, my parents would be very disappointed in me if I skipped out on a free breakfast at a hotel. I'm just getting flashbacks to being a kid and having my parents rush us to breakfast so we don't miss it. I got some eggs, sausages, biscuits, and gravy. Contemplated the waffles, but I said nah. Definitely have to have coffee, and you gotta admit it doesn't look that bad. The eggs were a little mushy, but I've seen worse. Potatoes were good. They had almost like an overripe apple texture. Sausages were savory and salty, and then I added salsa to my eggs. I didn't start doing this until college when I saw some friends try it. I was like, what is this sorcery? Because it's actually really good. Also, when do these little sriracha packages exist? This is awesome. You know, I'd rate this breakfast a 4 out of 10. The food was edible and it did the job. I'm going to give them an extra point for providing sriracha packets because that's legit. So solid 5 out of 10. And the coffee was decent too. I woke up in Denver at 6 a.m., which to me is too early, but with the one hour time change, it wasn't too bad. No one was in the gym at that time, and I was very impressed with the machine options. So the breakfast offered here was a grab and go. There were different muffins and drink types for each one. I didn't see any coffee, so I made some back in my room. I also want to say that my rating system is totally subjective. Honestly, I'm figuring out my taste as I go to since I don't typically eat breakfast. So this is for fun. I'm not bashing the hotels or anything. Okay, so we got a blueberry muffin, an apple, cranberry juice, and an oats and honey granola bar. The Muffins remind me of the muffins I would get from my Spanish teacher back in high school. He would sell larger ones for 50 cents and I would get one almost every day. They're just moist and delicious. And my hardest choice was always picking between the chocolate or blueberry ones. Chocolate was kind of top tier though. I rinsed the apple before taking a bite. It was a solid juicy one. And I'm going to save the granola bar for later and just finish the apple. I'm going to rate this breakfast a 3.5 out of 10 just because there are no hot options. Today is day three of trying my hotel's breakfast. The dining room and gym were situated by the lobby and my room was on the other side of the hotel so I had a nice morning walk. I got in a quick workout then had my breakfast. I had ham, potatoes, and cheese omelet. When I went in for a pastry, I almost took the whole thing down. Funny story, while I was grabbing my food, a man was trying to fish his bread out of the toaster with a metal knife and his wife scolded him. Are you crazy? Are you trying to die? And basically, you know who makes the toast in their house. So the cheese omelet is my favorite breakfast item so far on my trip. It was such a simple combo but worked really well. Then I added some salsa and boom, that unlocked the next level. The ham was good. It was really fatty so I added some salsa to help cut it. I ended the meal alternating between bites of the cherry pastry and drinks of my coffee. I'm going to rate this breakfast a solid 6 out of 10. Today is day 4 of trying my hotel's breakfast. My key wouldn't work for the fitness center so I didn't have to work out. Just kidding. I went to get a new key, but I mean that's kind of a sign, right? I got to bike in Ireland, which was pretty cool, and I think it's in real time along with other people. I almost didn't want to pass this person because they had a cute dog picture. I got five miles in and called it a day. Breakfast included juices, milk, cereal, yogurt, and Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches. There were also some oatmeal packages, and I grabbed a banana and a nice cup of coffee. The breakfast sandwiches remind me of the ones that my sister would heat up for my brother and I before school. The ones that were guaranteed to burn you each time you open the package. They always hit the spot though, along with a toaster strudels. Do they still make those? Anyway, this sandwich is one of my favorites because it's simple. You got the biscuit buns along with sausage, egg, and cheese. I personally love these sandwiches. I mean, this breakfast is all self-explanatory. I had the yogurt, banana, and coffee. I'd rate this one a 4.5 out of 10. It was kind of healthy with the dairy and fruit. Again, this is totally subjective. The sandwich made me feel nostalgic. Today is day 5 of trying my hotel breakfast. They didn't have a fitness center so I just did some push-ups and squats in my room. I'd include the footage but I don't feel like being criticized for my form or something today. The breakfast is in a small hotel lobby so I went to check it out. I've been regretting not getting the waffle on day 1 so I'm going to make some today. They've got the handy batter dispenser and you just pour it into the waffle maker, flip it, and wait. I grabbed butter, jam, a clementine, and apple juice. Other options they had included bagels, oatmeal, and cereal. And did you know that they made syrup dispensers? It's so cool that I might need one for my kitchen. So with clementines, I always try to eat one at a time to test my patience, and my patience fails each time. I just end up eating two to three to get through it faster. The waffle was soggy from the syrup, which is fine because the more syrup, the better for me. Not sure if you guys do this too, but I've got this thing where I have to get butter in each of the squares or it doesn't feel complete. And these are good waffles, definitely better than what I can put together most mornings. I'll rate this breakfast a three and a half out of 10. Today is day six of trying my hotel breakfast. I got my workout in and got a little treat because my elliptical machine had a fan on it. Then I almost broke my arm because I grabbed too heavy of a weight. Okay, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but still I was a little ambitious in the weight I picked. For breakfast, I opted for scrambled eggs, sausages, a green apple, 
bagel, the cream cheese, and coffee. After almost destroying my bagel, I was able to split it and add the cream cheese. If I were at home, I probably would have toasted these, although I like them either way. Eating this reminded me of a short period in my life when I ate bagels and cream cheese almost every day as a snack. Those were some good times. So for the eggs, I forgot to grab salsa or ketchup or salt and pepper, so I ate it along with bites of sausage so I could get the salty kick. I'm going to save the green apple for later. Coffee was good. It even had a mustache on it. I rate this breakfast a 4.5 out of 10. Today is day seven of trying my hotel breakfast, and this was the nicest fitness center I have been to on my trip. They had a bunch of machines, medicine balls, and ropes that I didn't know what they were used for. It's also weird that I haven't come across anyone while working out yet on this trip. I gotta be honest, I was a bit indecisive on what I wanted to eat. I had tried so many different breakfasts the past five days, but I ended up getting the eggs, bacon, and cereal. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is in the top five best cereals ever made. Don't at me. Actually, go ahead. I want to see your opinions. Remember how I found sriracha packets on the first day? This time I found tapatio packets. Also, I don't know why, but I mostly go for apple juice if it's an option. I don't remember the last time I've had cereal, so this is a real treat. Sugar-loaded breakfast? Let's do it. Basically my present for surviving the cave from the other day. Next, I added the tapatio to my eggs. I probably should have tried the eggs before adding the hot sauce. Each bite was just tasting the tapatio, but that's fine. The bacon looked interesting. It held its shape, which was very impressive. And when I took a bite into it, it actually was crunchy. Very pleasantly surprised by the taste. I went from sugary to spicy to savory and salty, and then finished it all with apple juice and coffee. Overall, not a bad meal at all. I rated a 5.5 out of 10. Today is day eight of rating my hotel breakfast. It was also the first day I came across other people working out in the morning, so that was cool. I was excited to see the cheese omelet because I really liked it when I had it before at another hotel. Also grabbed some scrambled eggs and added Tabasco to it. And then finishing off the meal with pork sausage, banana, and coffee. I just wanna remind you all that this is just for fun. I thought this was an entertaining thing to do on my trip and a good way to show everyone what breakfast you can find at hotels in the US. It's like, whose line is it anyway? Well, not everything is made up, but the points don't matter. Back to the food, the eggs with Tabasco were good. Nothing like hot sauce to jumpstart the day. One thing I wish I did was to get a bagel or grab toast so I could make a breakfast sandwich. It would have been perfect to add these eggs and sausage to some bread. Definitely something I'll keep in mind for my next road trip. So I like this cheese omelet more because it had more cheese than the other one I tried. You can see some on the outside. Whether that was intentional or not, I have no idea. I finished with a banana and black coffee. I rate this breakfast at 4 out of 10. Today is day nine of rating my hotel breakfast, and it was by far my favorite hotel breakfast so far on this road trip. There was no fitness center, so I went straight to breakfast in the morning, which was fine by me. I got some scrambled eggs, French toast, roasted potatoes, mixed veggies, pinto beans, sausage patty, ham topped with green chilies, and I'm not quite sure what was in this crock pot, so I didn't get it. They also had cinnamon rolls and some other goodies along with hard boiled eggs, fruit, muffins, and bagels. I should have been used to it now considering the dinner I had at La Chosa, but the spice of the food threw me off again. I didn't expect it, but it was very welcomed. The eggs and sausage patty weren't rubbery and they each had great flavor. The ham was slightly sweet and spicy with the green chilies on top. I kept creating the ultimate bites and then I realized I forgot to use the Cholula hot sauce I had grabbed. I was chowing down so hard I just forgot about it. Then I finished off with the French toast and syrup. Perfect sweet ending to a great meal. I rate this breakfast an 8 out of 10. Today is day 10 of rating my hotel breakfast. I gotta be honest, I was very tired and woke up late, so I decided to eat breakfast before working out. And I saw a machine that said fresh pancakes in a minute flat. How could I turn that down? And this was like the highlight of my morning. It could have been because I was in a pre-coffee daze that I was so interested, but I mean, it was pretty cool to watch. I also got a veggie omelet, turkey sausages, and a pork patty. They also had oatmeal and cinnamon rolls. Then I got my coffee fix and some orange juice since it seemed healthy. The pancakes were what you expected. Tastes like the box pancakes that you add water to and cook yourself. The patty was, um, interesting. It almost broke my fork trying to cut through it. The turkey sausage was pretty good and the veggie omelet wasn't bad. I just wish I grabbed a salsa packet to add to all this, but... I was too lazy to go back to the lobby to get some. Overall, not a bad meal. Then I went to work out and check out this sign. Use at your own risk in all caps. Not ominous at all. And for the breakfast, I rate it a 4.5 out of 10. Today is day 11 of rating my hotel breakfast, and this is from a recent road trip I took with Kyle. I am very excited to be sharing the full video soon. We stopped for a quick night in Des Moines, Iowa. We got up, worked out, and then it was time to eat. They had some pretty good looking eggs. One version included cubes of ham. I got some of that along with sausages. Put some salsa on top of the eggs because 
why not? Almost had a hot sauce cap mishap, but good thing I have amazing reflexes. JK, Kyle caught the cap for me before it fell. There were some apples and oranges along with muffins, Pop-Tart bites, and coffee cakes. I grabbed some of the Pop-Tart bites since they reminded me of high school. I used to eat them as a snack between some classes. There were some bread and raspberries, and they had French toast in the fridge, but I couldn't figure out where to heat it up until I found this fancy thing. I think it's a microwave. As long as I can the plates in there, I guess. Legit the first time I've seen a microwave like this. Lots of cereal and granola bars. Then for the drinks, I was going for the apple juice, but something else caught my eye. I haven't had Sunny D in forever. I didn't even know they- I was literally gonna grab <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even know they even sold this still breakfast secured, it was time to dig in. The eggs were pretty good, had the saltiness from the ham and they weren't dry. Sunny D was exactly how I remembered it, tangy and sour. Funny story, my brother and I used to add a pinch of salt to it, kind of like adding salt to a fresh orange. Fruit was nice and healthy, the sausages were okay, tasted like you would expect, much better when dipped in the hot sauce. Since the French toast came in individual sandwich bags, I'm going to assume they were made at the hotel. I dumped syrup over the top and weirdly, it had a funky taste to it. Even the syrup wasn't able to mask it so I cautiously pushed that off to the side but Kyle ended up taking a bite and he said he didn't taste the funkiness so I guess we're safe. The pop tarts were good to save for last. Overall I'd rate this breakfast a solid five and a half out of ten. Today is day 12 of rating my hotel breakfast and this is from a place in California. Got my workout in and it was time for some good old hotel breakfast. Cup of coffee to save my soul but also save a seat for me while I go grab the food. I saw a sign for it, build your best breakfast sandwich and not gonna lie, I got excited. 1. Select your fresh bread. 2. Toast to perfection. I chose the number 3 setting on the toaster since that was in the middle. Looks perfect to me but I guess that's also subjective. But what do I know? I burn my toast 50% of the time. Step three, add egg, meat, or cheese. I got a few scoops of the egg onto the toast and I wasn't sure the difference between the two sausage links so I just went for the side that had more. They're probably both the same. And sad news, there was no cheese so I couldn't make my best breakfast sandwich as the sign suggested. Luckily, I did find some Tabasco. Step four is to enjoy. But first, it's time for some oatmeal. I've never added sugar to oatmeal before so I'm not sure how much to add. I hope this is enough. I sat down with my food and took a look at the waffle makers, do I need one? I ultimately decided not to. I mean the sandwich looks pretty good. I was excited to take a bite of this and it wasn't bad. Each bite was filling, saltiness of the sausage, tangy heat of the Tabasco, not really much of a taste to the eggs to be honest and it was all encompassed in the toast. But it was missing something so I added more hot sauce to see if I could find the missing thing. That did make it better, finished the sandwich and now it's the oatmeal's time to shine. Unfortunately, I did not put enough sugar at all. It was so bland. To make matters worse, they were already cleaning up breakfast service and the brown sugar was gone. But we got to power through and finish this thing. I'd rate this breakfast a 5 out of 10, but they lose half a point for not having cheese and I wasn't able to make my best sandwich. So 4.5 out of 10. Today is day 13 of rating my hotel breakfast and for full disclosure, this was the only day I worked out on my entire trip. Not a bad breakfast lineup. They've got oatmeal, yogurt, and some milk. I gravitated to the mini waffle maker first, got my batter, and went to making the waffles. While I was waiting for them to cook, I toasted a bagel. Waffles were done and I just need to spread some liquid gold on them. Typically, I like to fill all the squares, but I didn't have my third hand today. Added some eggs and cheese to my bagel along with the sausage patty. Spicy brown mustard sounds like it would go well with it, so I guess I'll get that. Rounding out this breakfast with a cup of black coffee. I mean, waffles are always a winner, especially when you drown them in syrup. I spread the mustard on the bagel, making sure to get every last bit. A little smush so it holds together. Now, this was good. I didn't think the spicy mustard would go well with this, but it might be my go-to now. There is one thing I want to add to it, though just for a little cake. You know, pretty solid breakfast. I'd rate this a six and a half out of 10.